gon' get these drinks out here I got money so they put it in the bag I'm pulling off all the tags and pulling off in the jag Fuck being broke, it's broke, niggas is mad Get a job with your broke ass and get it out the hoes ass I go fast when I'm riding through the city lights I'm from the Bay West Coast, with your city like? New nights, fresh jeans and a snapback I'm Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, we should vibe, so you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe, but only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to. If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything extra, everything else is extra, and if you do so, I greatly appreciate it. If you want extra juicy tea, go ahead and click the link down in my description below to join my membership for that extra juicy tea. New videos, I promise you guys, will be up soon. I'm actually going to post two stories back to back on my membership since I have been late on the video i was supposed to have something up this week i still might y'all still might get something saturday or sunday so just just hold on but i'm gonna put two videos on the membership so just stay tuned i'm actually be dropping some photos on there as well i promise i promise i promise y'all i promise all right y'all y'all know what today is y'all know what today is because i'll be having y'all checking y'all calendar so y'all know today is wasted wednesday so you know i got a drink with me and y'all know i love an icy drink okay so let's get the drink yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what this is is Red Bull strawberry peach, I think, mixed with this. I don't know. I can't remember. If y'all watch my Tipsy Tuesday, y'all should know what's in the drink. So if, if you're watching all my videos, you know what's up. Okay, I don't remember at the moment. I just know I'm filming this video on Tipsy Tuesday. I'm actually filming this video before I go live on Tipsy Tuesday. So I actually need to hurry up because I'm going live at, well, I'm supposed to be going live at 8.30. It's already 7.53. So I'm going to be a little late. Let's taste our drink. Oh, this is good. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, I like that. Ooh. What we gonna name this? Um, ooh, I don't know. Skip that. We need to get into the story time. Okay, so if y'all watch part five, I don't know. I think part five or six. What part are we on? Five, six, five? I think we on part six. Um, yeah, because it's an uneven number. Yeah, so we on part six of the car series okay so i wanted to tell y'all about how delusional my car but i'm gonna tell y'all this i'm gonna tell y'all that story next i'm gonna tell y'all this story first because it, i just want this story to come first all right y'all so um let's set the tone so my birthday had just passed this was in 2022 my birthday had passed what did i do for my birthday that year Oh, I spent my birthday with Cray Cray. Mind you, Cray Cray completely ruined my birthday. I'm going to do a story time on that. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to tell y'all how he ruined my birthday and all that. So my birthday just passed. And, you know, all my birthday shenanigans stuff is, you know. Wait. New. Hold on. I lie. I wasn't with Cray Cray. That was with delusional. What did I do that year for my birthday? Hold on. Oh. Okay, I lied. So we can start there. Okay. So, my bad, y'all. I'm going to skip. Okay, so let's set the scene. This is the year 2022. Okay, I'm dating delusional. We about um a year into our relationship. Well, it's about to be coming up on a year because our anniversary was May 5th. But that is Miss Burgundy's birthday and his mom's birthday. So we didn't want to do it. So we had we changed our anniversary date to May 6th. But anyways, before that. So the scene, it's April. My birthday coming up. And I just wanted to do something small. So I had planned a day that we was all going to go to San Francisco. We was going to go down to the marina. Do some fun activities at the marina. And then after that, we was going to go have some dinner. And then Miss Burgundy's birthday was the next week and we was gonna do stuff for her birthday as well so 
the day comes i'm getting ready y'all i'm getting frustrated my hair wasn't coming out the way i wanted to my outfit wasn't looking the way i wanted to so i'm like super frustrated bestie comes to the house and she's just like best friend calm down it's okay mind you miss burgundy was bringing her daughter and i was bringing dylan so it's just gonna be like a little friend get together a little thing something small i don't want to do nothing major because at the time y'all i was going through hella shit this is when i started first becoming behind on my bills behind on my rent and just life just started catching up to me i was blowing all that money i had from the pandemic on dumb shit and then life started hitting me real hard my rent went up it was just a lot of stuff going on um dylan's dad wasn't really helping me out with dylan so i was kind of just taking i was taking care of me dylan delusional and just handling a lot of stuff y'all so life just started getting so stressful at this time mind y'all i think this is like my first going on my first year into my job and at this time my boss was being so hard on me getting on my nerves putting hella shit on my plate y'all i wanted to quit so many times like i hella wanted to quit this job because my boss was just putting so much pressure on me to learn to do all these things and it was just like i'm going through shit in my personal life me and delusional going through shit i'm going through shit work i'm behind on my bills like it was just like life was really crashing down on me in 2022 this was the downfall of everything that led up to 2023 so I really didn't want to do anything major or spend hella money because bitch, I'm already, you feel me, struggling to maintain what I got going on. I didn't want to take no big extravagant trip or anything like that. So I just wanted to do something like that small. At the time, me and Delusional, we was going through shit. I was just like, you know what, whatever. We just thugging it out. Bestie Mina was coming to meet me at my house and she was going to ride with me, Delusional, and Dylan to the city. And Miss Burgundy and her daughter was going to meet us out there. So mind you, Miss Burgundy got there hella early. She's blowing me up like, girl, where you at? Hurry up, y'all. I'm having a mental breakdown because my outfit, my hair, my makeup, nothing's going on. I'm getting all stressed out. I'm feeling all bad. I'm like, damn, she out there with her daughter. And they just walking around. And I just, I just start feeling so bad, y'all. I literally was like on the brink of tears. My bestie pull up she's calming me down she's like best friend it's your birthday nobody told her to go out there that early like just calm down now mind you miss burgundy wasn't blowing me up on like no hurry up where you at but she was just like girl we here like what's going on you know i want to celebrate your birthday so girl when you pulling up so finally y'all i had got the outfit together everything came together and you know everything turned out to turned out cool but i was just still at that time so stressed y'all like like life was so stressful i wanted to cry like every second of the day because i was just like oh my god my life is crumbling on me and i don't know what to do to get my life under control so i was just so stressed outside of my hair makeup and clothes not wanting to be what i wanted I, life was just really beating me down i mean when i mean beating me down like two big big stomping on me beating me down like i was behind on every single bill you could think of and i was just drowning y'all on top of like my toxic relationship starting a new job learning hella shit life was just drowning the fuck of me so finally we hit the road and we get to san francisco you know once i get to san francisco i start feeling a little better i see my friend we all catching up i think we got hot chocolate and churros when we first got there i finally see miss burgundy so we getting started to do our activities and y'all i'm gonna post pictures if i can find pictures um, on the screen now when i say i'm gonna post pictures don't listen for me to say i'm gonna post pictures please listen for the click sound y'all should hear some kind of click sound that means pictures are on the screen because i get this all the time where y'all be like ain't no pictures on the screen if you hear a click sound pictures is on the screen don't listen to me saying pictures is on the screen the pictures is not on the screen when i say pictures is on the screen and there was one video i did forget the pictures and then i put them in the other video so if y'all keeping up with the car series and y'all listening it y'all know okay if i forget it in one video i'm gonna put it in another video okay i promise y'all but most times look for that click so we get there and we get this little game car because we was gonna do a bunch of little activities at the pier so we first get to the pier like i said we get our little snacks we go to this one first event now when we there y'all i don't know why but randomly cray cray called me blowing up my phone i mean calling texting just blowing up my phone 
um, I think he texted me happy birthday, but he kept like sending like question marks blowing up my phone. So delusional, like who the fuck blowing up your phone? And I'm like, I don't know, because I did not have Cray Cray number saved at this point. But I knew it was Cray Cray. But I didn't want to tell him it was Cray Cray. Because when I tell y'all how me and Cray Cray ended in the whole thing, y'all will understand why I wouldn't even want Delusional to even know that Cray Cray has contacted me. Mind you, side note, before this day, like, I think like a week or so, no, like a couple months before this, I did talk to Cray Cray on the phone because the situation happened with a bitch and I had to call him and check him about some shit and I'm gonna tell that in another story time. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I promise y'all, I'm gonna get to all this shit. I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all at another time, but not this is not for right now. So anyways, so I don't know. I guess he just wanted to tell me happy birthday, but he knew I was in a relationship and I don't know why he was blowing on my phone. So delusional was like, answer the phone. And I'm like, I'm not going to answer the phone. He's like, well, if you don't know who it is, just answer the phone. So delusional was like, man, give me your phone. And I don't know if he answered or he texted, don't quote me, but he either answered or texted and was like, who is this? And Cray Cray was basically like, this Cray Cray. And he was like, nigga, stop talking, texting my girlfriend. She don't want to talk to you. Ah, ah, ah. And then Cray Cray tried to act like he was going to put me on blast and was like, oh, that's why she be texting and calling me. And ah, ah, ah. And I'm like, that nigga's a lie. I had to call him, which I had told Delusional about. Well, did I tell Delusional? I don't know if I told Delusional. But basically, I was telling Delusional, like, I was only talking to him because I had to check him about some shit. Because one thing about it, <laughs> yeah, that's another story time. I can't wait to tell y'all that. But anyways, so Delusional's like, is you talking to that nigga? You, you want to be with him? Da, 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 da. And I'm like, no, it is nothing like that. I promise you, I don't want him. The only reason why we spoke a few months ago was because I had to really check him on some shit that had went on. I'm like, other than that, you can see in our text message, we do not be talking. And... I don't have his number saved so let it go and I know you ain't trying to check me about some shit and I didn't caught you talking to a thousand bitches at this point like don't even do that it's my birthday I don't want to I don't even want to deal with it so I take my phone back and Cray Cray is constantly blowing me up blowing me up blowing me up so I'm telling my friends like what's going on I'm like oh my god and they like girl don't even answer the phone ignore that shit it's your birthday we here we're gonna have a good time like don't even worry about it but you can tell like delusional felt some type of way because the whole energy was just thrown off from that point as soon as i was just feeling cool now nah, i wasn't my energy back y'all y'all know when y'all so stressed y'all i felt like i was in a daze that whole year of 2022 like i don't want to say i was depressed but y'all when i tell you i was drowning and i could not swim back to the top y'all i felt like i was a walking zombie the whole 2022 like honestly i swear to you guys like i was i felt so lost i felt so sad i felt so hopeless it didn't make no sense so y'all a lot of times i would be in moments hanging out with my friends or you know being with my son or being with delusional and y'all my brain was just somewhere else thinking of how can I get more money how can I fix my life how can I get caught up on my bills how can I do this how can I do that how, my my mind was just always somewhere else at this point y'all and I just felt this dark cloud over me and it was just not going away so I'm just I just want y'all to know how much pressure I was under during this time in 2022 I was just rethinking everything about my life, rethinking like, why am I with delusional? He doing me wrong. Like, why have I been letting these men in my life and letting them stay and they do me wrong? And I know I deserve better than this. It was just so much that year was just the beginning of the end to a lot of shit in my life. So we go through that whole day. We do our activities. I'm enjoying the moment for the most part, but still, I'm still hella stressed. We go, we have dinner at the pier. Um, I think I got pictures of me, Miss Burgundy, and Mina there. And if I still got some pictures of me and Delusional, and I think Dylan, we took the pictures. I, like I said, listen for the click. When y'all hear the click, that means pictures is on the screen. Don't listen for me to say pictures is on the screen. Usually the pictures either was already on the screen or coming after. Listen for the click. Listen for the click. So, you know, that night comes to an end. And, you know, I think that year my birthday was either on a Saturday or Sunday. I think it was a Sunday because I think the next day I was at work. Or no, was that the next day? I don't know. But it was on a weekend. So, 
that night ended a week go by and me bestie and miss burgundy was like okay let's have like a girl's day let's go get drinks let's go shopping let's just you know spend some time just us you know i was just expressing to my friends about everything that was kind of going on how much pressure i was under and you know how i'm just feeling i'm just not feeling myself like i've been down before and stressed and like behind but y'all i'm telling y'all i was getting so far behind on a lot of shit i just felt like i could not I couldn't get out of it I just felt so stuck where I was and I wasn't elevating or growing and it was just really stressing me out because it was just like damn I know what I want in life and I know where I want to be and I keep feeling like I can never like every time I feel like I'm getting close I'm not so yeah so the day come and I think it was April 30th yeah, well, this was April 30th. So, yeah, this is April 30th. It's a, either a Saturday or Sunday. I can't remember. I think it's a Saturday. Yeah, it's April 30th. It's a Saturday. And we were supposed to all meet in Walnut Creek, go get food, go shopping. And then after, we was going to go to, like, a hookah bar or a bar and, you know, just spend the whole day with each other. So, I go pick up Bestie and me and her go to this place. We're thinking Miss Burgundy's going to show up. She never shows up or whatever. Cool, whatever. Me and Bestie, we sit down, we eat, we have drinks. Just We just had a good time. We just talking. Then we went to shopping in the streets. We went to Zara. I think we went to um, some other stores and we picked up some clothes and stuff. We just having a good time. And then, you know, finally Miss Burgundy was like, all right, y'all. Um, you know, I missed the, you know, shopping and food, but come to Oakland and let's go to this hookah bar. So we like, all right, cool. So, mind y'all, I didn't have some drinks, and y'all, I had on my sunglasses because I didn't think we was going to go all the way to Oakland. I, I was thinking we was going to stay in the Conquer, Walnut Creek area, because there's hookah bars and bars around that area. That area is like 20 minutes away from where I live in Pittsburgh, 15, 20 minutes. So, I'm not thinking I was going to have to drive all the way to Oakland, which is like... 30, 30 to 40 minutes from where I live, but 20 to 30 minutes from where we was. But whatever, cool. I drive to Oakland all the time. It ain't nothing. So I'm like, all right, but y'all, mind you, my brain is so heavy. It's just so much shit on my mind. And y'all know how I told you in the one time, in the one story time in this series where I, I felt like I was going to get in an accident. I was having those feelings. I was, I was, I would be driving and then I would like start daydreaming and I would be daydreaming me getting into car accidents. So I had a feeling that I might be getting in a car accident soon. So I was for the most part driving very cautious because I had this feeling before but then at the same time I was thinking maybe maybe it's because I'm under so much pressure and so much stress that I'm just I'm just in a funk right now so me and bestie we heading out to uh Oakland you know she blowing down the house in the car I may have hit it a couple times mind you I only had two drinks at this place it's not like I'm hella drunk or anything like that or like tipsy i might have been like a little bit of tipsy like buzz y'all because we went to go eat and then we went shopping and then we you know chill for a little minute and then we headed there we drive in there and she's basically telling us to go to um this hookah bar so me and bestie are we driving to this hookah bar and so me and Bestie, we pull up to, we see the hookah bar, we circle around, we see some park and we park or whatever. So after we park, we go into this hookah bar, right? And she's like, oh, we're thinking she's there already. She's like, oh yeah, I'm already in Oakland. So we're thinking she's at this goddamn hookah bar. So we're trying to like low key rush to get to the hookah bar because we're thinking she's there. So we get out the car, we go to the hookah bar and we're like, girl, where we at? We don't see you in the hookah bar. And this hookah bar was the type where it had inside and outside. Mind you, it's nighttime, it's April. So in Oakland, it's like a 10 to 15 degree difference be be between living where we at. So basically we live in the east bay there's like a tunnel you go through and once you go through the tunnel the weather completely changes it could be 
80 out here and it could be 70 60 once you hit that tunnel going towards oakland it's a total different temperature change so where we coming from it's all nice and warm and then when we get out there it's kind of breezy kind of cold so at this particular hookah bar you can get like little sections inside and if not you gotta sit outside so we're like the inside is packed mind you everybody in there are looking stank and shit they looking at us like who you bitches and shit and we like what the fuck like okay hold on so me and bestie like um we ain't feeling the energy here so we go sit outside because it was just like we ain't even want to sit inside the energy inside was just giving like stank bitches and i don't like that energy so we go sit outside or whatever it takes a little bitch a minute and she's just asking if we want hookah we just like oh we waiting for our friends just give us a little minute so we're calling you know miss burgundy like girl where is you at we here at the hookah bar you said you was out here already like you at the hookah bar where is you at like it's giving you feel me it's not giving the energy me and my bestie want to be in they acting all stank on the inside and it's cold on the outside we do not want to sit outside and smoke hookah if this was the case we could have went to the hookah bar we could have went to the hookah bar from where we, where we was just at we didn't want to come all the way out here and in this dumbass cold to sit outside to, to smoke hookah like it ain't never been that serious never been that serious so she like oh my god i'm gonna be right there and we was just like nah girl we about to get in the car and you feel me we about to leave she's like no 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 i'm actually at this bar hello stranger and so we like what I i'm confused she's like yeah i'm at the bar with my man so come over here and they got a section and it's lit here and we like okay you basically kind of flaked on us the whole day we was all supposed to spend the day together and then you tell us to come to this hookah lounge and then you at a bar mind you it's on the same street so whatever but it's just like you giving us the runaround when me and my bestie we could have just stayed where we was at but you're like yeah i'm like you know we're not stressing it but it's just like girl like what the hell where you at so we like all right cool so y'all we get in the car and i'm driving looking for the bar i see the bar so i'm like circling all around to find parking spots i see a parking spot y'all and i'm like oh okay i'm about to park right there so i wanted to hurry up and get the spot and i know i shouldn't have did this but at the same time i this y'all gonna hear so i see the spot and i'm like oh i'm about to bust a u-turn mind you i'm at a there's at the at this time no cars was coming so i'm like yeah i'm about to bust a u-turn even though i was at a space on the street where you wasn't supposed to bust a u-turn i could have went down hella more and turned around but i was like the spot gonna be gone like ain't nobody coming this oakland everybody drive like hood niggas anyway and that and, 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 uh. so y'all i go to bust the turn and boom we spinning skirt skirt hold on let me sip my drink yeah 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 mind y'all i'm under all this pressure my mind gone it's somewhere else i'm not even realizing we in a car accident i'm gonna say for like a full minute or two i'm just sitting in the car like I'm confused. My bestie's like, best friend. Somebody just hit us. And I'm like, what? She's like, bestie, somebody just hit us. Now, mind you, I know what y'all thinking. You tried to do a U-turn. So a car coming from, okay, so, okay, I'm this way. Boom. And I'm trying to make a U-turn to come back this way to park. So y'all probably thinking, bitch, you tried to make a U-turn and the car came down the street and smacked your ass, right? no i'm making this u-turn a car come flying behind me and smash the shit out of me so either this car wasn't paying attention because how you did not see that a car in front of you was slowing down or turning or hitting a brakes and you come like you get what i'm saying like i'm confused so i'm telling y'all smack my whole car we spun out i'm like okay so i'm like panicking but i'm cool i'm more so just like what the fuck this can't be happening like so much shit going on in my life right now 
today is the day of the accident I, I felt it coming but right now uh so bestie bounce out the dude bounce out come to find out it's an uber fucking driver he got passengers in his car mind you this nigga had to been speeding down the street because i'm telling y'all before i make this turn no cars is coming i look both ways but i'm not i wouldn't even expect a car coming from behind me to smack the shit out of me you feel me because i'm turning but i'm on my brakes i have my blinker on so it's like did you not see me on my brakes with my blinker on he's smashing though my whole i get out the car y'all the whole front bumper grill i got pictures too listen for the click to see the pictures whole front of the car gone whole front of the like grill bumper part that shit is off the car mind you not a nothing wrong with that car a little baby dent or scratch on that car so the dude like why would you be turning right here and i'm like dude why is you going so fast down the street that you didn't even notice me turning right here you're speeding as fuck like you smacked the fuck out of my car like i know i'm doing an illegal turn but how you did not see that i wasn't you feel me stopped or turning because it wasn't like i was stopped i was i was in the, i was in the motion of the u-turn like i was i don't i was so confused because i don't understand how he even hit me y'all i don't know what i i don't know because it's a two-lane street this way so lane lane i'm in this lane finna make a turn how the hell did you smack me as i'm turning and you hit the front of my car like either he tried to like swerve or do some hood nigga shit or i don't know what because it didn't make any sense i could see if i was in this lane trying to do a wide ass u-turn crossing over this lane and you get what i'm saying i don't know how to explain it but it's just whatever so i'm just like okay i'm just like what the fuck so bestie's going off she goes checks on the people in the uh in the back seat of the uber and making sure they all okay or whatever and they like they cool they was some drunk white folks cool as fuck or whatever i goes check on them i'm like hey y'all good like my bad or whatever and i'm telling the dude like all right let's exchange insurance shit and one of us will call the police or something we take pictures of our driver's license and exchange insurance and stuff and then this nigga gonna tell me oh i'm about to dip i gotta take my uber people to their destination and i'm like nigga you was just in a car accident though and you a uber driver you're supposed to wait till the police come i'm i'm so confused sir like what the nigga gets in his car and he did so i'm just like okay what the fuck this is out of control i'm just like huh y'all i just felt so fucking defeated mind you miss burgundy calling us where y'all at texting us where y'all at where y'all at i thought y'all was parking where y'all at i'm in the bar my man he didn't went off and he getting on my nerves and he da -da 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 -da. and i'm just like i don't even text her back i don't text her or call her i'm just like you know what because at first y'all because me and bestie we pulled over we parked and i was like you know what fuck it i'm already in the car accident my car's still drivable drivable the front just gone you feel me like let's just let's just go still try to make the best of the night let's just go to the bar and then i was just bestie was just like you know what bestie nah like let's just go like nah it's not even worth it so i called delusional and i'm like crying and i'm telling i'm like i just got an accident somebody just smacked my car when i was trying to do a u-turn he's just like oh my god you okay yeah you need to come home da -da 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 -da. and i'm just like y'all i just felt i just felt so defeated like what else could go wrong in my life right now i'm struggling i'm behind on my bills i'm i'm having a hard time at work my relationship is crashing down not my fucking car <sighs> y'all i was just sick i was sick i was just like this cannot be happening right now so me and bestie get to driving home and then that's when i noticed something else was wrong with the car like every time we hit a little dip or something the car was like scraping and making some crazy ass noise so i had to slow down driving and i drove that bitch home though i was like i'm gonna at least make it home in my car 
and figure this shit out tomorrow yeah because i get yeah the next day was gonna be a sunday so um bestie had parked at my house so we ride back to my house and she stayed for a little minute i'm just like you know what bestie i'm cool don't worry about it i got insurance just just go home i'm just gonna lay down and i just need to lay down ain't some yeah so bestie make sure i'm good she leaves go home and i go home i'm crying i'm crying to delusional he's just comforting me he's just like it's gonna be all right don't worry about it and i'm just like no i'm just going through hella shit like life is just beating me down right now you just you don't get it because you feel me you ain't never been in these type of situations and but you know for the most part he's just trying to cover me so the next day come I take some pictures of the more pictures of the car and I call my mom. I'm crying to my mom. And at this point, I wasn't telling my mom like everything that was going on in my life that I was behind on bills and stuff like that. Because I don't I don't like telling people that, especially my mom, because she just do so much for my whole entire family. You know, she's always there for everybody in our family. And it pisses me off sometimes because it's like everybody always comes to my mom when they struggling or need money and things like that and i be feeling like i can't go to my mom because everybody else goes to my mom you know so i just didn't want to tell her i was struggling because i already know if i tell my mom that she's gonna want to give me money and i just i don't want my mom to feel like she need to give me money i didn't i didn't want her to do that you know because it's like damn i'm in a relationship i'm with a man he can't even fucking help me pay my bills he living in my house eating my food it was just like it was embarrassing i didn't want to tell my mom really i didn't even want to tell my friends what was going on i just told them like a little bit i didn't even tell them all the shit i just was basically telling them, like i'm just going through hella shit like i'm struggling you know i wasn't like oh i'm behind on my bills shit like that i was just like you know i'm just going through a rough time right now so i call my mom i'm telling her she's just comforting me she's just like it's okay sweetie it's life you know it's gonna be all right you know you know the whole mom spill or whatever i'm just like literally ugly crying pouring my heart out to my mama just just devastated about life um so after that uh let's just say let me look at the dates Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to hurry up because... Okay, yeah. So, I... Because why didn't I do that right away? So, I called my insurance. I told them I was in an accident or whatever. I drove my car for, like, the first week. Yes, I drove the car how I was. I was just like, fuck it. I'm going to just drive slow because, basically... My insurance was telling me they could fix the car and how much it was going to cost. And I was just like, I ain't ready to drop my car when they fix it because I ain't got the money yet. So I drove the car for a week. And between that week, Miss Burgundy's birthday was coming up because, like I said, we had the accident happen April 30th. Her birthday was literally that next weekend. So what she wanted to do was have like a girls brunch, well, girls lunch brunch type of thing at this rooftop restaurant. And then after we was going to go to the club for her birthday, Jacquees was performing at this club. So we like, all right, cool. She's like, it's just an all girls thing. No guys. We all wear pink. I got pictures. Listen for the click. Pictures will be on the screen. Y'all, I really didn't want to go because like I said, I was just in a bad space in life. And I, I was just I just felt so sad and depressed. But I was just like, you know what? I'm going to show it for my friend. She, sh you know, whatever. So we get dressed or whatever. Me and Bessie, Bessie drove her car because I was just like, Bessie, I don't, you know, my car fucked up. And can you just drive? So she drove her car. We get there. We park. We go to the place. And we sit down. We eating. Now, if y'all remember when I told y'all the fake friend story time, how me and Miss Burgundy fell out. And I mentioned her cousin and her best friend. They was there, and then one of Miss Burgundy's other friends was there, and Miss Burgundy's so called boyfriend at the time was there. And nobody else she invited showed up. But you feel me? So we show up, and you know, we make the best out of it. We having a cool time, we all taking pictures, and miss burgundy's cousin i never had issues with her we always been cool but miss burgundy's best friend like she cool whatever but her energy was just never my cup of tea like that but whatever we all have a cool time 
we go back to uh miss burgundy's hotel we all change into our nighttime outfits and we getting ready for the club miss burgundy's being a diva because she always got to be the biggest diva ever she's taking her long to get dressed or whatever finally she dressed because i'm like girl you need to hurry up because we gotta make it to the section like what you doing <laughs> you gonna miss your spot for your section and then when you're gonna be mad as hell you didn't pay that little deposit and we gonna have to pay to still get in the club because what's up what's going on so we finally get in the car we ride with miss burgundy's best friend in her car because she a hood bitch and you know hood bitches know how to park so you know and it's a it's a it's a late night hella people out it's oakland all the clubs out there so we hop in the car with her we all turned up in the car we take a shot to whatever we get to the club and mind you we didn't even all know miss burgundy man was gonna be there but whatever i guess that's her man it's like you don't want us to invite our manses but you had your manses but whatever it's your birthday your wishes whatever cool so we get into the club and we thinking you know it's just probably just gonna be her man and then us girls all in the section that's gonna be cool so we get there and we're in line for the section or whatever she's doing hella much her man bringing her flowers and shit which is cool or whatever do your thing whatever so we waiting in the inside they giving us our wristbands and then some other niggas come in and then they standing next to miss burgundy's man so me and bestie looking like who is these niggas and obviously these niggas is with him because they start talking to him and they give them the same color wristbands as us i'm like oh i guess these is her man's his friend but i'm still me and bestie giving each other that look you know how you talking with your eyes like <laughs> I'm, I'm so confused like you told us we couldn't bring our our niggas but your nigga here and then he got like three four of his other friends with him i'm so confused mind you at this time I was, i'm well i'm always loyal <coughs> You feel me? I might kiki ha ha in a, a nigga face a little bit, but I'm not the type to, I'm not a cheater. And bestie not either. So we just like, mm, all right, okay, cool. <clears throat> so we get inside the club, y'all. It's baby lit in there. We all turning up in the section, but mind y'all, my mind's still gone, but I'm trying to make the best of it. I'm trying to have fun, but it's just like, whatever. Oh, my bad. Mind you, before we even go in there <clears throat> to to our section the the bottle bitch who was gonna be our bottle girl and take us to our section i guess knew miss burgundy man and she saw miss burgundy man and was like hugging all up on him and stuff i was like oh my god it's so good to see you again and all flirty flirty mind you we all looking at this bitch like hold on you a little bit too kiki ha ha flirty flirty but our friend man like bitch do we gotta beat your ass i'm giving miss burgundy that I look like sus like who this hoe you know her because why she all hugging all on your man like that and then she was like the girl was asking him like oh who you all here with he was like oh well, my girl and her friends it's her birthday and then the whole energy changed she was like oh yeah oh bitch yeah oh yeah oh because what is you doing what is you doing Get up off my sis man. Even though that wasn't her man, but that was her man though. So watch your hands, ho. You feel me? It was like, okay, mm, side eye. But okay, yeah, anyways, like I said, so we go in there, it's baby ratchet, we turning up and stuff. And out of nowhere, one of uh, her nigga's friends come sit next to me. He's talking to me. He's just asking me all these questions like, what's up with you? How old is you? You hella pretty. Da, 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 da. Can I get to know you? Ah, ah, ah. And I'm just telling him like, oh, no, I got a man. It's cool. Like, I'm good or whatever. Like, no, nah, I'm cool. But my name's Shayla. I'm, you know, but I'm good. And he's just like, I don't care if you got a man. Let me be your man. I bet you your man don't be spending money on you and woopty 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 just all this stuff. And I'm just like, sir, no, I'm good. So I go to Miss Burgundy and I'm like, girl, get your man's his friend. She's like, girl, no, you need to talk to him. He got money and he'll buy you this, buy you that. Like my nigga be doing da 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 And I'm just like, girl, where my mind is right now, I don't give a shit about none of that. Is he going to pay all these bills I owe? Is he going to pay to get my car fixed shit he might have but at the time it was just like girl i'm in a relationship like you know me miss burgundy you know i ain't even that type you know i ain't even that type like don't do that why would you put me in this situation so same thing dude come up to bestie trying to holler at her ah and we just telling them it was another not the dude who came up to me but another one of her man's partners and we just like nah so me and bestie giving each other that look like 
You feel me? Like, this is a hella setup. You told us not to bring our niggas, but your niggas here with friends. Like, it was just hella weird. Like, the vibe was just... It was off, but Bestie seeing some people she knew. She turned up with them. Finally, Jacquees come out. We all turned up, having a good time. And, you know, I made the best out of it. After that, you know, we ride back to Telly's. Telly, I mean, we we ride back to Miss Burgundy's Telly. And mind you, Miss Burgundy wasted as fuck, which as she should, it's her birthday. So she lit as fuck. She drunk as hell. We trying to wait it out. Like, she could not get out the fucking car. So eventually we was just like her best friend here, her cousin here, they got her. We was just like, love you girl, we're gonna text you later, but we gonna hit the fucking road. So we get in the car, Bessie dropped me off, and then she head back to her house. And then I think that next day I did go get a little rental car from Turo. I dropped my car off. And y'all, I had that little rental car for like three to four weeks. It took them a minute to fix my car, y'all. It was like real fucked up. But they fixed my car and that shit looked like brand new. Mind y'all, oh, side story. This is how I really started getting into story times, which was 2022. Y'all, I was just so down, depressed. And mind you, y'all, I never was the type of girl to be on YouTube like that. But I don't know, something was just calling me to really start like being on YouTube. So at first, y'all, I was watching a lot of true crime, bake up and crimes with me. And then I stumbled upon story times like i stumbled upon i think who did i stumble upon first i really think it was kayshawn and then i started watching simone and then how i found t so let me tell y'all so let me, what happened Oh, yeah, so I had got the rental car. Mind y'all, let me tell you how I got this rental car. Y'all had to get up hella early. I think um, Dylan lived by the school, so he walked to school. Or was this already something? Yeah, so he walked to school. And then I had to walk like 30 minutes away to go pick up this, because I got, I got a Toro rental car because the car insurance i had at the time they didn't fund a rental so i had to pay for the rental out of pocket and it was cheaper to go through Turo. so i had to walk like 20 30 minutes away to get this goddamn <clears throat> rental mind you the way to walk like the short way you have to walk it was a many ass walk y'all but i made it there pick that up now returning it i had to walk all the way back home and it was like getting dark and when I had returned it. And you basically got to walk on the side of the highway for hella long and hella shit. Walk through hella dirt grass. And that's when I stumbled upon Oh That's T, y'all. And I started watching one of her story times. And I was like, oh, I like her. Out of all the story time girlies I be listening to, I'm going to tell y'all my top favorite is Oh That's T because... She tell her story times how I tell my story times. Like, you feel me? Like, she talk like how I talk in my story times. And I just could relate to her so much, especially her having a kid, her baby daddy story times. I'm like, yeah, T is my bitch. Like, I can relate to hella her story times, especially about her and her baby daddy issues and stuff like that. And I was just binging T's story times, y'all. I mean, I watched, like, hella her story times that day. Because I think, yeah, it was a Friday, and I dropped that rental car off. And that whole weekend, I just binged tea. Like, story times and true crime really got me through a lot of dark times, y'all. And that's what really started making me want to do my own story times for real. Because I was just like, as much as people probably think like, oh, it's just story times. Like, how could that help somebody? But just listening to somebody, hearing their story times, relating to them. And just hearing, just, I don't know what it is. I don't know how to, like, truly explain it. Like, it's just like a lot of like ODST, Simone, Kayshawn, Charisma, Rudy, like their story times. I can relate in some type of way to their story times. And it was just like, damn, I'm not the only one who going through this. I'm not the only one who been through this and do this that, or have friends like that. So I don't know, y'all. It was just like very, it just kept me going at that time, y'all. When I would get so stressed and irritated at work, I would just put on one of their story times and it just like made my problems go away for that moment and that's what really got me into wanting to do story times because i'm like damn something so simple could could really make somebody's day and make 
they make them feel better and I was just like I got a bunch of story times that I know people can relate to and I feel like I can have that impact on people as well they can hear my voice and hear me tell a story and they having a bad day and it changed their whole day and just seeing how they started and where they are now it just like really inspired me to really start doing story times and that's how I started getting into story times I got my car fixed and uh yeah i think i got my car back like at the end of may june and things started turning around for me me and delusional's relationship you know it was still rocky or whatever but i started focusing more on me and less on him i stopped giving a fuck about what he was doing and i just started focusing on me and what i had going on and the things i wanted to do and that's when i dropped my first story time video 2020 2022 december 2022 and then i just took off from there 2023 and then here we are 2024 so yeah but this is part six of the car series i hope you guys enjoyed this story time leave me a comment down below i know i should not have a fucking driver's license i know <laughs> and now but i do because i gotta get around period but y'all i don't drive like that no more i know that wasn't that long ago but you feel me? I'm, I'm a cautious driver now. I'm a cautious driver now. But yeah, y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the final part of the car series. Either tomorrow or Friday. And we're going to end it off. And I'm going to tell y'all how never let a nigga use your car. And some other little shit as well. That went on. But yeah, it is 8.39. I was supposed to go live nine minutes ago. So let me get off here and y'all should have seen my live. And if y'all didn't catch my live, go watch my live. They be lit and I'll be telling little mini stories in them. But yeah, I'm going to see y'all in my next video. I'm going to vibe you a vibe. We should vibe. So you should what? You should like, comment, share, and subscribe. But only if you want to, only if you want to, only if you want to. If you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. And yeah, deuces.